20 years ago, being diagnosed with myeloma meant there was nothing in the pipeline and there was no hope. It was a death sentence. I was fishing in Montana on the Missouri River and I was standing in a boat and I just fell, inexplicably. I kept thinking they were gonna say, he's got picked up something in Africa. You know, that's what's causing all this. And then they turned to me and said, you've got a cancer. It's called multiple myeloma. For my wife, this was a pretty scary proposition. We've been married over 50 years, and so this made it real, the prospect that someday, you know, you could be alone. I never heard of a word myeloma. Multiple myeloma sound even worse. It's possible that I may have three and a half, four years to live. And I was sobbing. <laughs> Skylar came upstairs. She said, Mom, I can't even imagine how hard it must be. But she said, can you try a little harder for us? And she said, I will respect you more for trying. What can you say to that, right? My sister and I founded the MMRF with one mission, and that was to accelerate the search for a cure. It has now been 20 years and we have seen disruption after disruption, resulting in extraordinary progress. To build the first tissue bank, housing 4,000 samples, to sequence the myeloma genome for the first time, to share every bit of data we have in the public domain. Building a clinical network that has spearheaded 100 trials of the best drugs and combinations, that's the reason that myeloma has seen more progress than any other cancer today. It's our community working together, making sure 12 drugs got approved and that we triple the lifespan of our patients. Cancer patients especially will tell you that the best investment you can make is and educating yourself about what's going on. Precision medicine is simply finding each and every patient the right treatment at the right time. What's so incredible is that we've really been able to understand each patient's subtype genomically, and now we're also doing it from an immune standpoint. This is how cures will be found. The first time when I sat down with Kathy, she said, you know, it is very important you do a gene sequencing to identify exactly where the abnormality is. And it could also change the direction of your medication choices and results. And that's when we identified T1114. I think that became a pivotal point in finding my right treatment that worked for me to be where I am today in a remission. I'm a lucky guy in every way. Even when I get this kind of a diagnosis, I have access, I have resources. I thought a lot about somebody who lives 120 miles outside of Wichita, Kansas. The hell does he do? what happens. He should have the same treatment that I do. I truly believe that CureCloud is our greatest disruption yet. We have to make genomic sequencing available to as many patients as we possibly can. And that's why we launched CureCloud. A patient can click a button, a phlebotomist shows to their house, and now we're sequencing their genome free of charge. Why? Because they need that data but the entire myeloma community needs that data too. They have the database to enable you to look at people whose genomic makeup is similar to yours and then track what's happened to them and give you some prognosis as to what's likely to happen if you go down the same road or if you don't. So now every patient is asking the most important question. What do I do? What do I do in my specific form of myeloma. I'm an 1114. Is there a drug for me? I'm a 414. Should I do a transplant? Or I'm smoldering and I don't know whether to start treatment. And CureCloud will allow us to answer those questions with data. Working with the myeloma community to advance this extraordinary progress in myeloma has been the greatest honor of my life. But one of the greatest moments in my career was when Robert Kraft and Dean Noria asked if I would come to Harvard Business School and teach everything we'd learned in precision medicine across other cancers. I give a lot of credit to Kathy Justy. Most of us ride in the wagon. You always need somebody out in front pulling the wagon. She's one of those. I think the joy of being at Harvard was 
there were so many pieces of the MMRF model that other cancers could learn from. And I honestly believe for many of them, we could save them years, if not decades. At the MMRF, we have given knowledge and power to each and every patient so that they can find a cure. At HBS, we have given knowledge and power to every patient group so they can accelerate a cure. They're gonna be one of the more impactful organizations uh, when we look back on this time in terms of advancing the, the whole field of precision medicine, not just as it relates to myeloma, but other cancers, potentially things like Alzheimer's uh, and other forms of disease. I think we've proven that the MMRF is the master of disruption. Ten years ago, the disease I have, multiple myeloma, was a death sentence, and a painful death sentence to boot. But because of the advances that have been made over the last ten years, I got life. When it first started, I said, this is a year I want to forget. I don't want to even know. But now, having gone through it, this is the year that I want to remember every detail, every moment. The lessons, the love, support, and also uh, understanding my own strength and also what I can give to others. There's so many medications now, there are innovations that's happening. It's a very exciting time. When I founded the MMRF, our daughter Nicole was just one and our son David hadn't even been born yet. They've seen their mother through transplant, they've seen their aunt through stage three breast cancer, and they've seen their grandmother through grueling treatments for melanoma. Families don't know when they'll get those words, you have cancer, you have Alzheimer's, you have Parkinson's. Perhaps I'm still that mom looking to protect them and believing that whatever we've learned in myeloma and whatever we've learned in oncology, that we share it. We share it with every other cancer out there, that we share with every disease out there, make the world a better place for as many people as we possibly can. I think that's the most amazing gift for your children and for the next generation. Mm -hmm.